Hi, I'm Benny Legit. For the ones that are watching out there, you know, actually I'd like to introduce you to, if, if you already don't know, I'm sure you do, this is Heather Clark. And Heather, actually, we go back since she was a little tired now. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, usually most, you know, most that you work with, you know, you never see, you never see them grow up because in your mind you want to keep them at that <laughs> you know however it's beautiful to see so heather you know i i watch um you know i watch you internally really bloom out and so so tell me the mma world you know well, what's, what's going on they, in, um, with yourself you know i've been i've been training now for uh mma for about six years and yeah with some of the best in the business, against some of the best um, opponents, uh, chain training partners, sure. and uh, you know, this week spending it with you every day has been just amazing. I, I, it's been, you know, the words can't ex describe it. Yeah. Um, I really feel like I've gotten a sense of um, understanding of, of who I am, where I am, my power within, without. Um, you oh, know, we did good. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, yeah. I, I've, I've never felt so strong mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, I just, like I said, I, you know, I can't, I just can't ex yeah. describe the, the honor, the, the, the love that I've um, been able to get from you this week. And, you know, I was sp speaking to my dad last night and he said, Heather, do you remember meeting Sensei Benny? And I said, no, I don't remember. I was like, you know, six, seven years old. He says, oh, he says he got down. He gave you a hug. He was very gentle, gave you some kisses. was just like this, you know, sweet man. And he says, i never seen that side of him. I've seen him, you know, beating people up and training people and, and doing this stuff. But when it came to meeting you, it was like this other person. And um, I, I really, you know, gotten to see that, that side of you yeah. this week as well, Sensei. And it is, it is yeah. truly um, amazing. And so, you know, through all that that you were saying, my my questions to you is basically what was different that this time around had you know this new and improved you know Heather you know because again we always reinvent ourselves and I I recognize in a short amount of time how you reinvented yourself with such beauty the beautiful part about it is you came in this world with it and sometimes people cannot see it. Until, you know, it's, I'm like a diamond cutter and I see this beautiful diamond and most people can't see the shine, so I start cutting away oh, yeah. to the point where everybody else can see this beautiful, uh, you know, this beauty. Well, so what was different? Uh, you know, I, I wish I knew more why, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunately you're the diamond yeah. cutter and you mm -hmm. brought that out of me. Um, I, I, I listened to you, I, I really concentrated on, on what you were saying and, and tried to breathe it in and, mm -hmm. and accept it and really it was almost effortless, you know? That's the word, yeah. effortless. So now, you know, now that you're, you know, you're going back in, you know, into uh, the cage, you know, as uh, actually you're going to go out there and sh uh, shine. Yes, so. Sir. What exactly, you know, you feel going back into that cage right now? Now, before is one thing, but I'm talking about now. The new improve, you know. I right now. feel more powerful than ever, Sensei. I, yeah. I feel it inside, outside. I feel that there's nothing that can that can yeah. make me fear. Nothing that can that take away my focus, my wants, my will. It's my time, yeah. Sensei, and, and you yeah. and you yeah. brought yeah. you brought that to uh, yeah. to fortuity, and um, I I just I can't thank you enough. Yeah. So if you were going to tell the world a message, you know, in a couple of words, what would you tell the world that are actually watching you, your fans, you know, and the people that you know, the people that actually. You know, a lot, a lot of people would love to be doing what you are doing, yeah. but sometimes it takes courage to do that. And uh, a lot of people don't have the courage. And a lot of women, you're being an inspiration to a lot of women out there, which is important. And, you know, to actually be a woman warrior, but still in, in the ring, be a warrior, in the cage, be a warrior, but 
clean out all women, which is very important because that's the only way you can actually ins inspire other women, you know, to, so what would you tell them out there? Um, you know, just do what you love. Do, just take that, that chance, take that, that opportunity to, to go beyond your comfort zone, to, you know, just try it because you never know um, what you might find inside and, and when you get out there and, you know, it's, it all it takes is just that one step and and go and go and try it. It's um, it's really you know martial arts, uh, whatever it may be, karate, kickboxing, jujitsu, whatever. It's um, it's brought the best out of me. Um, I've seen it bring the best out of other people, and it's just it's an amazing art that really um, not just externally but internally um, changes you, empowers you, and um, to me fulfills something that I've been, you know, waiting for, for my whole life. So, for you out there that are watching, you know, truly, you know, empowerment is about how you perceive yourself, the I am concept, and the beautiful part about it is when you start to recognize who you are, and you start to bring out that power that in you, as, as you're listening to Heather and looking at her, you see the beauty of what she loves doing, and that's really what it's all about. It's the mental fight, it's a physical fight, it's a spiritual fight, it's a character fight. So with all that, that all you watching, and the clock, Benny the Jet, signing off. Mm -hmm.